All right, you guys, welcome to our team call today. Um, really quick for announcements. I guess there was some confusion um, about the Spoil You event. So I will not be sending out your people samples. You need to send your own samples. What I am doing though is if somebody enrolls um, through the Spoil You um, during that event, I am sending them a free gift. So it'll probably be some roller bottles, but I haven't got it all together yet. So don't hate me for not having it all together. The other thing is I posted the event link and then realized that I created the event incorrectly because I said it would happen daily. And then because of that, nobody's able to say that they're going, they're just able to say they're interested. So it's kind of confusing. So I have reposted a different link. If you invited somebody to that group, I've posted in that um, group, hey, go to this other um, event. I'm sorry for the confusion. I don't know another better way to do it. I wanna make sure that people, when they say that they're going, that they're gonna see the information. So that's the best that I could come up with to fix that problem. So I apologize. That's just, I'm learning to do Facebook stuff too. So today I'm excited to share with you um, quick product information. So uh, very interesting on the Diamond and Above Facebook group. Um, there was a great post and someone was asking like, help, I'm really tired. Um, I stopped, you know, I went off of sugar and I've been like detoxing and stuff, but I'm just exhausted. And I think I'm also maybe doing some adrenal, like dealing with adrenal fatigue and stuff. And so what to do for energy? Does anybody ever have someone during your consultations or during a class say, what to do for energy, right? Um, that's such a big one and not one that we think of like off the top of our head. So one of the things to point out to people that's really helpful for energy, of course, there's the lifelong vitality pack and there's all those things that are very foundational. But other things that you might not have thought of yet that I wanted to point out just two really quick. Their first one is a product called Mito2 Max. So this has a whole bunch of different herbs put into one pill. The herbs are formulated to help the mitochondria in your body. So the mitochondria are the factories for making ATP, which is the energy source for your body. And so if your mitochondria are not functioning as highly as they can, you're going to have less ATP or less energy. And that's where Mito2 Max can be really helpful. If someone's in severe like fatigue, then I would say you could go up to even four of these a day, two in the morning and two in the afternoon. We don't really recommend taking them towards the evening because they do help with energy. And so they're gonna you know, rub you up a little bit more. But there's nothing in here that's like caffeine kind of stuff that's addictive. It's going to help your body do what it's meant to do, function on its own better. So um, you also, I tell people, you want to, this wasn't like a quick thing, right? You didn't just all of a sudden have lack of energy. So you're not just going to all of a sudden have tons of energy because you took this one thing like a caffeine shot would do for you, right? So we're going to just do this. I typically notice results for people within about a week. but do it for a month at least, right? Try it for a month at least. So Mito2 Max. Now the other one, and this was specific for adrenal fatigue, which I think many people suffer with, don't even realize it, right? Um, if they're chronically, especially if they've had kids and they're the primary person that gets up in the middle of the night and they've had tons of disrupted sleep, you can go into adrenal fatigue pretty easily. So, um, letting them know it's okay to sleep extra one giving people permission to have extra sleep if they really need that and then basil essential oil can be really helpful so making i usually do a roller bottle of basil and you can rub over um, neck parts and then if need be you can take internally too so andrew says i use my two max at night when i need to to pull a late work night, two capsules, and I'm totally alert until my projects are complete. Perfect. Thanks, Andrew, for that little testimony. I love it. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. We totally have something for energy. It's not the typical oil that you would think of, like digestion is going to be quick fix for a tummy ache, right? But yes, 
these work and they're going to be huge in helping. And this is a big problem. Most people, if you even, if they didn't say it, oh, I need help with energy. If you asked it, they would say, oh uh, yeah, of course I would love to have more energy. They just don't think that there's anything that will suddenly give them that. So let's give them some more of those solutions. All right, you guys, I'm excited to turn the time over to Rebecca Gillespie. She's a diamond in doTERRA, and she's a master at not having the stress in your life. You don't need to have stress in your life. So Rebecca, talk to us a little bit today about how to not stress when we get to the end of the month, would you please? Okay, I'm assuming I'm on now. I just muted myself so that in case my kid has a fit. Hopefully he won't, he's in the other room reading. Um, so just, um, I've noticed that a lot of times that people start to stress out at the end of the month and maybe like the last night of the month, they're like, oh my gosh, I just noticed that my power of three isn't set up and it's like 10 or 11 p.m. And every once in a while, I'll get a call or a text somebody saying help me help me because they just haven't planned um, so I want to just talk through kind of where where how I do uh, my end of the month and planning for that um, just because you know the end of the month comes every month guys so it's not um, it's not an emergency so there are some really quick easy things you can do every month to kind of set yourself up for success. And so these are some of the things that I do. Um, so for people that are looking at their power of three, this is that bonus that comes in either $50, $250, or $1,500. And the way that you get that is you have yourself plus three people under you, all ordering on an LRP of at least 100, and then the overall volume between you and your three people, plus anyone else on your front line is 600. So I'm gonna just jot this down, LRP, okay? So here we are, here's me on an LRP, here's three people on an LRP, okay, of at least 100, and then, this whole volume is at least 600, okay? So this gives me a $50 bonus. If this repeats for each of these people, then it gets me a $250 bonus and each of them 50. And if it goes down a third level deep, then I get $1,500. These people get 250 and the people under them get $50 each, okay? So, LRPs are capable of running any time from the 1st to the 28th of the month. So, because it's a monthly recurring order. So by the 28th of the month, usually all those LRPs will run first thing in the morning on the last day of the month, or sorry, the last, the 28th. So on the 28th, usually what I will do is I will start going through and looking at where I might be short for this, whether it's short an order, whether it's short the $600 volume, because you have to have met both criteria in order to qualify for that. And on doTERRA's back office, there's a really, really easy way of looking at that. Basically just go to your back office. Rebecca, you I'll screen share it, okay? Okay, that great. That would be helpful. Thank you, that would be really helpful. I was just about to do that, but you please do that. So you just go into your back office, um, so log into your, log into your shopping account and then click my back office. And right there on that first dashboard page is a big thing that talks about power of three and it actually tracks it for you throughout the month. So it's super duper easy to go and look at that throughout the month to see kind of how it's progressing. And some really cool things that doTERRA has done is that number one, they've made it so that if somebody has, let's say that you have two people, on your front line that have ordered 100 and one that ordered 95 and you've got the $600 in volume. So Tara allows you, with the permission of that person, to place an order on their account for 5 PV so that they are kind of trued up to 100 total so that you don't miss out on your $50 bonus because of $5. 
Um, there has actually, so Brittany is now screen sharing this right here for us. So this would be Brittany. This is for this month. So you can see that most people, and it's blue, the blue shows you that they have a template in place that will run on a specific date. Purple means they've already ran their order. I mean, we're at, what are we on, April 2nd? So most people haven't run their order. I ran my order this morning, um, but a lot of people haven't run their order. Usually, most people I would say have run their order by about the 15th or 25th. Um, there's always those people that are stragglers that will run it later. So if it's purple, it means they've already had their order go through and it was already over 100. If they're blue, it means they've got an order set up, but it hasn't gone through yet. If it's if it's white, then they don't have a call, they don't have an order, or it's not over a hundred. And if it's got this little, do you see this one guy here that's purple? It's got a little O over him in his belly. That means not only does he have his hundred dollar order that went through, he has three people under him that went through, plus that little O says, we've got our six hundred dollar in volume. So in order for someone to be qualified, they have to, like to be fully qualified, they have to have themselves purple, plus they have to have this little O, plus there has to be three people under them that are purple, okay? So when you're looking at it, Brittany, will you go back to the dashboard? Just so that we can see what it looks like when you first pull in. You see right here where it says power of three? As 50, 250, and 1500, right now they're all gray because Brittany hasn't qualified for any of those for this month. Brittany, will you click back to um, March? <coughs> this is Brittany from last month. Do you see how her power of three, how it's the 50 is blue, the 250 is blue, and the 1500 is blue? That's because she qualified for the full $1,500 bonus. So as your month is progressing, you can very quickly look at your month and see. Oh my gosh, we, you know, I have I have reached these goals. If those are not showing up as blue, there's a problem. So on the 28th, when you know pretty much everything has gone through, so we're all we're already a few days ahead of the curve, right? Because we had the 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. We have four days between the 28th and the 31st to take care of any little holes. You go back now to the the filtered detail. Brit, I like want to click want on it for you. Where do you want me to go? To the filtered detail. Oh, I don't know where that's at. Oh, here we go. Filtered detail. Filtered detail. There you go. The thing we were at before. So this shows, this is Brittany's filtered detail for last month because we clicked back a month. Um, so you can see as she's looking, her right there, she had an order. Plus she has the, the O in her saying, hey, you've got your volume. Plus she has one, two, three, not just the three that you need, but even a fourth order there that was 100. And then if you look at those people, those people each are purple with an O and they each have three people underneath them, okay? And then those people have people under them. This, this view shows specifically this bonus. And if you guys are not receiving a 50, or a 250 or a $1,500 bonus, I would encourage you to start focusing on this because it, yeah, you can sit on the couch. Okay, as long as you're quiet. So it shows you exactly what, where you're at on this. So and the other thing, walk. oh, go ahead, Rebecca. I'm just gonna point out it, for the $600, if you actually click on the person, you can see that team volume there. Yes. So let's say, for example, Ray, will you click out of that and I'm gonna show you one person to go to. Can you see my cursor? No. You can't, okay, so like. Like here, we didn't quite right have Right there, that person, they didn't have a third order and they didn't have their 600, so if you click on them, you can actually see how far away they were from March. They were at 467 out of the 600. So that's probably not worth doing much about. 
but let's say that it was that they were ten dollars or five dollars away because i've seen that a ton of times or where literally somebody is five five dollars away from a 250 or a fifteen hundred dollar bonus i've seen it in my own back office where i'm like oh this is a five dollar thing so I will start planning on that early in the month. And then what I do is I work with my leaders. I'll text them usually on the, you know, the 27th through the 29th, somewhere in that range and say, hey, let's look at power of three together. Let's see where we can strategize to get this taken care of, to get it worked out. Does that make sense? So that I'm not looking at it on the 31st and thinking, oh my gosh, I need to put a $5 order in and I can't get a hold of anyone to get permission to do that. Okay. That's frustrating to lose $1,500 because of a $5 order. And it's not an emergency because I knew it was coming. Right. Or I should say it shouldn't be an emergency. This is something that um, typically I will put in my calendar to remind me to do this. Because sometimes I have, I mean, not sometimes, I have pregnancy brain right now. So there are times when I forget stuff. And also it gives your, it gives your leaders time to, <coughs> to reach out to people under them. So you can really build a plan. You're not, um, you're not catching somebody out of town or it's just totally unavailable that's had an emergency or whatever. Because you're giving yourself enough days to be able to work if one one strategy doesn't work out you can move on to strategy two or strategy three if you absolutely had to so it makes it so much less stressful than trying to get a hold of somebody at 11 p.m on the last night of the month which is embarrassing a little bit i mean it's embarrassing to me if i haven't worked things out i'm like oh my gosh am i really bothering this person right now but it's you know it's like oh i'm gonna miss out on a thousand dollars yeah i mean i I would like to get that money, right? So planning that and working with your leaders, helping them understand where they're at on their power of three and when it's worth it to buy into that. So for example, for me, because I get my $1,500 bonus, it's worth it for me to purchase in a couple hundred dollars or even two or three little spots. Or if somebody has a $95 95 PV order or an 85 PV order to just do an extra order or two um, in order to get that bonus for me. So usually the way that I do it is I will get permission. I'll usually work with the person's leader or the enroller of that person and get permission. Well, you always have to get permission. Don't ever order on someone's account without permission. Let me just be really clear on that. Okay. You do not have permission order on someone's account without explicit permission from them. It's not something that we do and it can cause problems. So make sure that they are aware that that's happening. Typically what I'll do is I'll um, reach out to them and say, hey, I'd like to put an order in on your account as an LRP and you'll get, you will get the uh, the LRP points for that Um, because it's doing me a favor um, and then, and then I'll, one of the things that is really important to me at the end of the month is looking through and seeing, hey, where am I habitually ordering and where can I start putting more customers? Because eventually you want to get to the point where you're not buying at all. It's called breathe, buddy. Can you go right over there with it? Um, so does that make sense why the end of the month is not an emergency? I mean, I hope you can understand that this is the same thing every single month. Another thing that is not an emergency is the 10, like anywhere, something else, buddy. Go, here, use that one. Um, Another thing that's not an emergency is a return. So once you're starting to qualify for some of these, these bonuses, if somebody does a return before the 15th of the month, that can affect your bonuses. So it's very smart, like Brittany just showed us how you can go on your back office and you can look back a month. I would suggest that everyone goes back and looks on the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, every single one of those days. doTERRA will usually try to 
slow down returns coming towards getting right close to um, commission time, but they can't hold everything. If something was deemed fraudulent or there are certain returns they just can't hold. So you have to take responsibility to go back and look because again, if somebody returns something and this has happened to me, okay, I learned this the hard way. Somebody returned like literally a chapstick and it cost me $1,500. And I was pretty irritated with myself for not having checked. The first time it happened, of course, I had never, ever, ever had it happen. And then I went on a vacation to Turkey. Okay, come here, buddy, and I'll help you. Come here, you have to come here. I went on a vacation to Turkey and I was gone. And I had no idea that that would affect my bonus. And it did, and I lost $1,500. So I decided that that would never happen to me again. And even if I'm in Turkey, I'm going to go check my back office. And if there's an issue, doTERRA will allow you to place an order and they will backdate it. Okay? They will do that if you're losing out on a bonus. Yeah, so the really awesome thing with this is you can just send in, if you have an account manager, you can send it into your account manager. If you don't have an account manager, um, I would recommend probably working with somebody in your upline that's silver or above that has an account manager. Otherwise, you can just email doTERRA directly and say, you know, here's the order number and here's, it needs to be backdated. So it's, let's say somebody underneath me um, returned a chapstick, right? So there's five PV that's missing for that $1,500 bonus. It's kind of, you're like, oh, this is so silly, but you have to place the order. Now it needs to be placed under the person that had returned that. Does that make sense? So it has to be placed under where um, that volume is missing. It's not like you, you put the order in under your own account and then say, hey, can you backdate this and put it in this spot? It has to be done under that account again. So um, you just wanna be aware of that and that's why it's always good to have you know, people's phone numbers and other things that so you can quickly just contact somebody and let them know that. So, oh yes, um, Brittany, thank you for clarifying on that. You can't just place it on your own account. Yeah, I just think Sorry. sometimes there's like things where we're like, oh, that was clear. We totally said that crystal clear. And then I'm like, I think people could be confused on that. <laughs> yeah, so let's say that, you know, one of my personal people returned something, didn't realize that it was going to mess up the power of three bonus. Then I would work that out to place that order on them. Now, um, I think that it makes sense if you've got people under you that are going to make a bonus to work with them to, to split the um, split if there was a reason to split in the buys. Um, but what is not acceptable ever is to call someone and tell them, I need you to place your order so I can get my bonus. Okay, we don't do that. We don't call people and say, if you don't place an order, I'm not gonna get paid. Okay, that's not appropriate. Um, now, if you're working with a leader and they're going to make a bonus and you're gonna make a bonus, it's appropriate to work out who buys where and what up to the point. You never ever want your leaders to be spending more than what they're gonna be making, okay? Because that's just ridiculous. Um, and you would never want to buy in more than you are making. So, so right. Say, yeah, go ahead, Rebecca. I was gonna say, let's say that you have a $50 bonus and someone returns $100. You're not gonna want to buy that back up. Because it doesn't make sense to put 100 in to get 50 out. Now, if they put, if you're gonna make $50 and they just return $5, it makes sense. Does that, is that clear that you're not gonna want to take care of that if it's not gonna make sense for you? So just be aware of where you're at and what bonuses, what bonuses you're getting. I've seen people try and, you know, every once in a while they're like, oh, I want to buy this. And I'm like, that doesn't make financial sense. But they get kind of caught up in the moment and don't think it through. So always decide if this makes financial sense. It makes financial sense if you're going to at least break free, break, break even. Because then it's basically free product that you can use in your business. Um, so if I'm buying in ever for power of three or even for rank, um, then those are just extra oils that I use in my business as part of my 
um, my supplies and my ability to sample out and that kind of stuff. So I consider that to be a good investment for me, um, but I would never, ever, ever buy in more than I'm going to make. Money. I would never go into debt to buy into a bonus. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Um, and again, this is stuff that should be strategized the 28th or 29th or 30th at the latest. And if it's a 30, a 30 day month, again, start strategizing on the 28th or 29th so that by the time that you get to the 30th, even if you don't place the orders till the 30th, you already have the accounts and you already have the permission. Okay. So oftentimes I won't place, I, I will get permission, but then I just don't have time to place the order till later that day, <laughs> just because I have kids and things that come up. But I always try to get permission at least 24, 48, 36 hours in advance so that they know I'm placing an order and I know I have everything I need to, in order to place that order. And like Brittany said, if you don't have your own account manager and something like this happens to you, reach out to your upline because it's a lot easier for those of us with an account manager to get things backdated um, in a quick, timely manner. Because that does, you know, if you notice something on the 13th, you definitely want to make sure that you're getting that taken care of before commissions run. Okay. Um, Hey, Becky, can I chime in here really fast? I have to hop yes. off because um, I have another call. But I just wanted to say thank you for doing this because I, I feel as passionately as you do. Becky, Becky and I share something in common. We, three days before the end of the month, we're texting, making sure our bonuses and our rank is all lined up because we don't want to do the last, like, last five hours of the month like scurry where it's just so stressful. And, and what I would just encourage everyone to do is care about your bonuses enough to plan ahead. Like whether you're going for that $50 bonus and it's just that start of your residual income paycheck or whether you're going for your 1500, it's important from the beginning of your business to care enough to actually make time to plan this stuff out. Like don't just hope that someday you get your $50 bonus, like be intentional about it and plan. Like I teach people log into your back office the first, the fifth, the 15th and 28th. Those four days of the month are when I look at my back office because it always gives me enough time to make sure that things are all lined up. So. Thanks so yes, much for doing yeah, this topic. You, I love it. It is true. Thanks, Andrew. It, it's true that we will be texting with each other and it doesn't require a huge amount of time, guys. It really doesn't. But also another thing that's, that's nice is as you're looking at this and you kind of see like that there's some places that you, oh, from Leanne, what are the dates again? First, fifth, 15th, and 28th minimum. And then if there's a problem on the 28th, obviously you'll be fixing the problem and logging in to make sure that everything updates. Also on the last day of the month, guys, there are so many orders and so much stuff going through that sometimes our back office is super slow. So it can be really stressful if the back office doesn't update. And so you're like, I don't know if this went through. I don't know if I have my bonus, but if you've done it on the 28th or 29th or 30th, by golly, you know, it's there. You can screenshot it so that if anything happens, you have proof that this bonus was showing and that you deserve to, to be able to have that bonus. Okay. So, um, it's, it is just very important to make sure that you are planning that and then you'll know, Hey, I always have to kind of place a little order here. Maybe I should put another customer there may, or, or maybe I need to do another wellness consult or enroll these people in oil camp, something to help them, um, increase their orders so that, you have the people like I, there are a lot of places I know it's like a three by three by three structure but there's plenty of places where I have four or five or six people on that second level because I know that not everybody places a hundred PV order every month if they're, if they're just customers I'll have multiple people in that spot so that it's less stressful for me okay so that chances are most everybody's gonna place an order and it's gonna be enough volume so and like, like Andrew said, start strategizing and knowing where that is so that even when you're enrolling new customers, you know where to place them. <laughs> Nothing is more frustrating to a leader. <laughs> not, not nothing. There are, there are some frustrating things, but as I watch people enroll people and they put them in places where I'm like, if you put the person here, it would be really helpful for your power of three. 
and then they just put them some other place because they're just not thinking it through. So if, it, if it's hard for you to think that through, strategize with your upline as to where the most appropriate places are for your power of three. Because guys, this is a monthly bonus. Every month, every month you can get an extra $1,500. That's $18,000 a year. Do any of you want an $18,000 raise? Everybody is, who's gonna say no to $18,000, right? So just doing that one thing at the end of the month can really help. And then you know, these are the places I'm weak in my power of three, and these are the places I need to focus to get to my next level of power of three. That's every single month, guys, in addition to all your other bonuses, just because people are ordering in the right spots, okay? It's not an emergency. And the really good thing about looking at your back office towards the end of the month is you can start strategizing, you know, okay, when I do my classes, these are the places that I want to start focusing to put my new people. Who do I have in those places that I can start have hosting classes with me? Who is a good sharer in that area that I can, that I can start boosting by, by reaching out to them and partnering with them to enroll more people? Where is it? What legs do I need to focus on? You see how just taking a few times a month, you don't have to look at your back office every day. Okay, back when I first started Otero, I used to do that. It was like, I don't know. <laughs> it took me a year to figure out. I just, I don't have to look every day. But <laughs> that's actually not it's, good. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we get super excited, but definitely on those dates, the 1st, 5th, 15th, and for sure the 28th. And then if there's issues after that, for sure. Okay, well, not the 15th, like the 13th and 14th. Like, you really do need to start checking in between to make sure nothing's been returned. Um, these are not emergencies, but getting in the habit of looking during those times so that you can, without any stress, take care of any emergencies that come up, it will really, really help. Okay. And again, put a reminder in your phone. I have reminders in my phone. I mean, I have reminders in my phone of when to pick my kids up from school, too. So, <sighs> I just have a lot of reminders because otherwise I'll space things. I know I will. I am my mother's child. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my mom's laughing. All um, right. That's perfect. Thank you so yeah. much, Rebecca. We are right there on time and that was awesome. I love that. And um excited for our next week call as well and for our spoil you event happening next week. So thank you everyone for being on and have a good beginning of the month so you can have a good end of the month so yes.